I wonder what I should make a video about. Oh, let me check this. <laughs> what the fuck? What? I feel like this is the whole series. I feel like this is everything. <laughs> Who makes this? What the fuck? Oh my god. I've uncovered a treasure trove. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl, Ash Coyote. How's it going? I hope you all are doing well. So today, today we're gonna be checking out some really strange stuff on the internet. I am sure you guys have come across some of those weird animations on YouTube. I know I have come across those in spades because people know that I look for them and they send them to me and I love them and oh my god, oh my god, is this one a gem? It's, I was raised by furries. Uh, <laughs> Like, this is like, what? What? Why? I, I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe how strange this particular video is. It's, 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 wow. It's definitely up there. So really what I'm kind of getting at here with today's video, though, is I'm going to be examining some of the weirdness that is on YouTube. There's a lot of strange animation channels out there. There's a lot of content farms out there and they're all producing content like this. Sometimes it's furry, sometimes it's not. Usually it's not furry because I don't think the audience is big enough for them. But I kind of want to just talk a little bit about kind of how these channels operate what they're doing, and then we can have a few laughs watching the videos themselves and just, I don't know, enjoy it because guess what? It's freaking strange. That's what I love about it. Okay, so the channel we're looking at today is called True Stories. Now, they are a, um, well, it appears to be, appears to be a content farm, so I'm looking at it, uh... <laughs> So I'm looking at it here, right here on YouTube. And I mean, like they, they, they're they definitely, you know, like out there and they're strange. Now they do say as a disclaimer on their about section that they are a quote unquote small farm in Alabama that is telling satirical stories for entertainment purposes. Now, whether or not that's true, I don't know, but this is definitely one of those examples of a channel that is kind of acting like a content farm. So content farms are these, channels that exist on YouTube, think like five minute crafts maybe, they basically produce content for monetization and that's it, that's all they do. It's not a small creator like me. These are giant channels that are literally just producing this content just so they can profit off it. And usually that content is geared towards or targeting kids. All it takes is take you to look at like the content page and you'll instantly see what I mean. So it's like, I'm a breastfed adult. Oh, that sounds like a great video. My son is the simp. Okay. I get paid to wear diapers. I got my sister pregnant. You see where this is going? Like, <laughs> why do people make this? Like, why, why do people make this? I, I know it's, it's purely for the views and people literally just want to watch like this kind of stuff. But like, whew, it hurts. It hurts my head. So that gets us to kind of the video that we're gonna be looking at today, which is, I was raised by furries. Now, I, I have so many questions. I, I literally have so many questions about what led this person to create this video. Now, I have watched it now a couple times and I, I'm kind of just flabbergasted by it because it is utterly and totally and completely ridiculous. To kind of get moving on with the video to kind of just kind of keep this plugging along, I'm gonna be joined with my friend Porter here and we are going to watch this and react to it and kind of have a few laughs because oh my god strange stuff on the internet remember this video is for entertainment purposes only we are taking just a good natured look a good natured laugh at some really strange stuff on youtube i hope you guys enjoy it also if you can let me know down in the comment section below what you think of videos like this. Do you like seeing me out of suit? Do you like seeing me talk about stuff like this? I want to hear back from you. I, I want to hear what you think about me and what I'm doing. I would love to know. All right, guys. You ready? We're going in. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. So sometimes people have goals in life. One of my goals is to end up in somebody's cringe compilation. Isn't that a great goal? I genuinely, I'm not even joking when I say that's really what I want. I think that's what we all want. That's what we all secretly want. It's, it's magic. Ma Diego. Bobby. Yeah. You want to be on the video? <laughs> He's like, nope. Okay. 
dogs. My main goal is, is to, to blow, blow up. up and then act like I don't know nobody. Borders into inflation. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. <laughs> That's that can't go in the That's video. That's a thing. That sucks. So a friend of mine sent me this video. Um, it's called I Was Raised by Furries. It's a uh, Pretty amazing. It's it's total trash. <laughs> so this is one of those videos produced by content farms, right? So like it's like one of those true life story channels. Um, I think the channel is actually called True Stories, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> not a true story on there. We're going to watch "I Was Raised by Furries," which is a masterpiece, a classical masterpiece of epic proportions. Uh, <laughs> this is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. It's four minutes and 48 it's seconds It's four long. minutes and 48 seconds. Can you predict based on the thumbnail what this is going to be about? I I legitimately can't. Like, I'm trying to come up with any kind of concept that would be rational or entertaining in any way, and this does not fall within my concept of those two words. Okay. Well, in that happy, happy note, I'm sure you're excited, aren't you? No. Are you ready for Please. this? Please. Oh boy, this is this is what I chose to do with my life. Isn't right. this great? Looking at cringe on the internet. Here we go. Hey, my name's Toby, and I had a bit of an alternative upbringing. My therapist said sharing my story would help with my recovery. That that did not happen. Already needs a therapist. <laughs> We're all gonna need a therapist by the end of this. I grew up on my parents' remote rural farm. The nearest town only had a gas station, post office, and an all-items trading shack. That's where my pa traded the beets, carrots, and corn we grew. Not not how I expected the story to start. <laughs> they're, so, furry beet traders. Um, they're trading beets and carrots and everything to a general store, and that's how they survive. Um, obviously, this is a true story. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this, is, uh, this is fucking how Dwight Schrute got his start. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just like 22 seconds in and we're already like what the fuck my parents were different only i never knew until i was much much older from birth i only knew them as dogs <laughs> now, now hold on <laughs> now hang on a second <laughs> Okay, so first off, I want to go back to the therapist thing, because first off, no therapist is going to tell you to put anything about your life on this YouTube channel. Can I just say that real quick? That's... I, I just... <laughs> I can't get over, like, since I was born, I only knew my parents as dogs. That's like... Wow. The implications are that the parents don't ever take off their fursuits? Am I, am I crazy? Is that what they're... You're 100% correct. Um, I love this. This one is kind of cross-eyed a little bit, too. I mean, it just adds to the aesthetic, right? Like, it just makes it that much better. Um, furries don't do this, just so you know. Actually, my parents were furries. They raised me as a furry. Look at me. Yeah, look how you turned out. <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> you see, my parents wore dog suits 24-7. 24-7. Giant okay. fluffy dog costumes that covered their entire bodies and faces I never saw them without fur. And they didn't do things by halves. So I had my own dog suit with black and red fur and these big wide ears. As far as I knew, we were just an ordinary little pack of dogs. Because that makes sense. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I mean, conceptually, they like covered their own asses by saying that like they lived out in like the middle of nowhere so they had no contact with anybody. So I guess, like, conceptually, they're going for, like, no, like, I thought this was totally normal, but... Extreme furry role players? Like, what the fuck? Nobody thinks this is normal. Can, can I point out also, there's there's one problem with the story already. Well, can you figure out what the problem is? Only one? There's one major problem. <laughs> okay. Think about this for a second. A lot of furries are gay. Uh, How do you end up with a baby? I mean... Good point. Fail. <laughs> now, hold on. Real quick, sorry, the frame we paused on is important. Are they walking on all fours? They are. Okay. They are. Right. They are definitively walking on all fours. It's great. We're world building. Here we go. <laughs> Actually, one of my earliest memories is of my ma on all fours in the bathroom saying, You must never let anyone see your skin suit. Only take <laughs> off your fur suit on Sundays to bathe. <laughs> there were no mirrors. 
I, I can't even begin to like. Don't ever let people see you in your skin suit. This is my skin soda. That sucks. That does suck. <laughs> like the whole concept is just. No mirrors in the house. So the only time I ever really saw my own full skin face was in the blurry, rippled reflection in the bathwater. It was a sorry sight. Bald and pale. My dog face was much more handsome. Same though. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, my first seat's cool, but like... <laughs> no, same though. Every time I look in the mirror. <laughs> it's just... Can you imagine being a kid and you're just like looking down in the bathroom and you're just like the fuck is that having an existential crisis i mean like the whole this whole video is an existential crisis it's just like a nightmare i which one's mom which one's the dad the gray one's mom he said it earlier oh yeah oh the beard yeah dad's got because a big dogs beard. have beards right no dog beard dog beard maybe that's his name that that's is his, his name, name. We, we've we've officially named him <laughs> anyway Ma and Pa told me it was illegal to go around in just skin suits. They made a point of drilling into me what the that fuck? we would be put down if anyone ever saw us without <laughs> our first suits. What the fuck? Of course. Gaslight much? Um, Target acquired. <laughs> so, in a world where not wearing a fursuit gets you killed. Of course, that horrified me. To the point where I had never even left the farm boundaries. Paul was the only one allowed into town to do his trades. In the whole 15 years of my existence, I had never seen anyone other than my own dog parents. Her reaction is my reaction, just like the fuck. I agree. <laughs> no, the... Peace. Later, guys. General store lady, I feel you. <laughs> can, can you imagine if, like, this was an actual furry thing, though? So, like, if furries actually did this, like, they would go to, like, the store and they're just like, Hey! What's up? How's it going? I'm in my fursuit. Would you like to trade beets with me? You want to trade beets and corn? Mm. Naturally, I was homeschooled. Naturally. I guess that's the best way to describe it. Paul basically just taught me dog mannerisms. Like how to dig up beets and pee outside against a tree. I don't know in my suit. As I grew, Mom sewed me bigger and bigger suits. With more fur and larger features. This did not happen! <laughs> Stop saying things that happened like they happened. These did not happen. Like peeing on a tree through a special hole in your suit. Um, don't pee on trees, kids, and uh, what the fuck? Every now and then, I'd finish my weekly bath and find a new suit laid out beside my bed. Some nights, I'd be lying in my bed and would hear weird howling noises coming from my parents' room. But I was a little afraid of... What do you think they were doing, huh, Porter? Uh... They were being naughty. No, surely not. Surely... <laughs> you just hear... <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, okay, here's a true thing, though. Here's one thing that furries do... That This is accurate to what furries actually do, is they have signs like this on their, like, bedrooms. Hey, like, hey, we found the one accurate piece of this whole thing. Ma and Pa's kennel. I feel like furries do tacky shit like that. Am I oh, wrong? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're okay, wrong. Cool. You're so wrong. Oh, never mind that. Hold on. I'm going to take a drink. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey, I got tea. This isn't tea. <laughs> How much vodka is in that? Holy shit, I can smell it from here. Straight Jaeger. <laughs> Gross. Straight a paw, so I never dare to ask about it. I just put my paws over my ears and try to sleep. Trauma. Pure trauma. But everything changed the day there was an unexpected knock on the front door. I started barking like mad. Bork. While Ma bork, and Pa bork. frantically <laughs> ran around the house. Suddenly, a face appeared at the window. Through a gap where one of the old boards had fallen off, I saw eyes staring at me. And a strange skin face. My god, that's Jason Bourne. Yeah. Um, wow, okay. The task force has arrived. <laughs> it was kind of like the reflection I'd seen in the bath, but at the same time, completely foreign. <laughs> Without warning, bright the flashes of light burst through the hole and oh, lit shit. up the room. I yelped in shock, sensing we were in danger, but not knowing why or what it was. 
Defensively, I stood up on my hind legs and pawed at the gap. Why? Paw pushed me out of the Just way. Like, Stop! Stop! <laughs> Turn off the light! No lights! And shouted in a deep, booming voice. You are trespassing! You need to leave now! The light disappeared and I heard the sound of footsteps running off into the distance. Were they squatters this entire time? You'll have to find out. I was so confused. Me too. Ma explained that it was a man, and we couldn't let him near us, because he didn't have his fursuit on. The next day, our house was raided. The door was kicked down, and more men... I love that that's, like, literally David Duchovny from X-Files. I was gonna like, say that. Like, like, it's just like... <laughs> it's Fox Mulder, dude. Fox Mulder shows up and is just, like, straight up, like, X-Files. I was gonna say, I'm glad to see he's doing his job, though. We found extreme furry role players on a farm we found, in Alabama. This is a paranormal experience. <laughs> this is weird. It's like the FBI show up at the door now. <laughs> They're just like, uh, yo. With smooth, furless suits and mm. naked skin faces swarmed the property. Naked skin Before I knew faces. it, I was pulled away from my parents and dragged into a waiting <laughs> car. Separated from them. For the first time in my life, I was in sensory overload. Ah, uh, that, that, that's like what it's like to be on drugs right there. While the other half of me yeah. thought I was in some kind of surreal dream. I was taken to a place where they... Mood. That's a mood. I'm in a surreal dream right now. I'm watching this. I kept dog. trying to take off my fursuit. <clears throat> I lashed out and tried to bite them, not understanding that they were just medics. Because you can totally bite people with fursuits. I mean, right. that's the thing, right? You don't like our jaws move so you can bite people. Well, he did say try to bite. I don't... So what was it? He's just like, he's just like whacking his head. Clear, clearly unsuccessful. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Everything about this sucks. Well, he's checked me over. That was four years ago. Apparently, the face at the window that day was a man from the land surveyor's office. He was on a routine visit but instead took photos and notified the authorities of my living conditions. My parents were charged, and I ended up being placed into foster care. It's been tough adjusting to what everyone else calls normal life. <laughs> Isn't that like the most fucked thing ever? Like, so it's like, so really what happened is, is somebody showed up, reported them to CPS, and now this kid is in foster care. So we just listened to the story of how somebody ends up in foster care. That's it. I mean, at hey. least... <laughs> Dungus. No, but, like, I mean, if this was true, that would be really sad. I, yeah, like, see, that that's the thing. So, like, with, with channels like this, you know, like, with the true stories, I mean, yes, it would be sad if it was true. That would really suck. It'd also be national news, because it's fucking weird, right? You know, like, this stuff, this is literally something that you would, like, see a movie made about. Right. Like, this is, like, an absolutely absurd situation that doesn't exist anywhere in the real world, and... This is just the 2020 YouTube version of the tabloid magazines at the checkout counter that are, like, woman gives birth to an alien fetus and shit like that. Just what? like. What? Exactly. Like, How is she? Is she okay? Like, oh my all, god. All, all they want you to do is click on it so that they get your your one cent of ad revenue. Yeah, that's that's really why channels like this exist. That's it in a nutshell. Yay! True Easy. stories. All right, we have ten seconds left. Should we see what, what this holds? I've had to learn to read and write a bit and really <laughs> miss the comfort and warmth of my fursuit. It was a big part of my identity. That's it. It just ends. I like, it was a big part of my identity. That's... Zoom in on that face, because that's a disaster. Who uh, animated this? I, I don't know. Uh, I, like, I, I, I feel like all these are made on Fiverr. It's yeah. like, this is made by Fiverr animation. This is what happens when you uh, make shit. Yeah.
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already, and drop me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of videos like, I was raised by furries. I, I, you know, I would love to hear from you. I, tell me about it. Just like, let me know what you think of those videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Porter. They're amazing. They're super sweet. They do really fun content. They're mostly a live streamer, but all their social information is down in the description below. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Goodbye.